I'm just outside the Southern Hamster Club and I'm going to go up and have a chat about hamster welfare, cage size, stuff like that. And I know they've got some really cute rescues there as well today. So, hope you enjoy. So, my name is Kat Barnes. I run uh, Scritch's Rat and Rodent Rescue. Um, I'm also a breeder of pedigree hamsters um, and I work with uh, Doric Hamstery and Mousery. I'm a member of the Southern and Midland Hamster Clubs um, and I'm on their committee. Um, um, I've had mice for about six years, um, five or six years. Uh, I have about currently about 15 of those and I have around about 30 hamsters. Um, Syrian hamsters, Chinese hamsters and Roborowski hamsters. Um, so uh, we, we tend to have quite a menagerie at home. Um, I also have two ch rescue chinchillas and four rescue dagoos, a papillon and a Yorkshire terrier. So, so how long has the Southern Hamster Club been running? Um, it's been running uh, for about uh, 30 years or so. Um, it's been around for quite a while. Um, and uh, it's never been as popular as it, as it is at the moment. Um, as you can see, we're, we're quite busy today. So uh, yes, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, we go out um, and do educational stalls like this one. Um, we're also a collection of um, pedigree hamster breeders. Um, so what we do is we, a bit like dog breeding, we um, select for health and temperament um, we breed to specific standards of colour and size um, in all the different species of hamster. Um, we go to shows that we organise across the country um, uh, for the purposes of uh, sort of making sure that we're sticking to that standard. Um, it's not quite like Cruft, so we don't sort of run around with our hamsters and see. Um, we have a judge that sits on a table and she usually has a, a grid that she'll have each hamster on and check it and mark it off the points for different things um, and then obviously the hamster with the best number of points wins. Um, we, we split them up into Syrians and Dwarfs um, and we have a show about once a month for the Southern Club and then we have the Midland Club and the Northern Club um, uh, who do their own shows as well so uh, our show calendar can get quite busy <laughs> um, and then we do obviously the education and welfare side of things um, because it's down to the club to educate people as to what hamsters are what species there are uh, and the care of each species um, so what would you say to a person thinking about bringing a hamster home oh okay so the first thing that you need to think about is why you want a hamster. So um, each species has uh, different types of behavior. Um, do you want a hamster to cuddle? Do you want a hamster that's fun to watch? Um, so you could have a Roborowski hamster and you could have a setup with lots of tubes and wheels and they will run in those tubes and wheels all day long, you know, um, but they're not a great hamster to cuddle. Um, you can have a Chinese hamster who, uh, if you get a if you get a male, um, are, are great cuddlers. They like to climb all over you. They like to sit on your shoulder. Um, Syrians are kind of a bit of both. So they like to have a bit of a cuddle and, and they like to run around and have a play. Again, males are cuddlier than females. Generally, there's always exceptions to that. So that's the very very first thing you need to think about. Once you've decided what kind of hamster you want, you need to think about what, you, what, what it's going to live in. Um, so Syrian hamster needs a, a nice big cage. Uh, RSPCA recommended cage size is 80 centimetres long. Um, and your dwarf hamsters can either have an 80 centimetre cage or something a little bit smaller, depending on their, this really depends on their needs. Um, and there's a, a lot of information on cage recommendations on the Southern Hamster Club website. Um, yeah, so, and, and obviously you need to think about what to feed it. Um, so a nice hamster muesli, like Harry hamster or um, a Burgess stew, a dwarf hamster mix. Um, and nice uh, soft bedding for it to go on. Um, so the shavings should be as dust free as possible. Preferably though, we would rather that you not keep them on shavings, that you keep them on paper or cardboard or hemp-based bedding. There's a whole range of different kinds of bedding you can have. 
um, and no fluffy cotton wool type bedding in the nest because the hamsters have pouches they pouch all their nesting material when they make their bed at night and there's a chance that they could swallow some of that so the hamster club recommends that that you don't give them that shredded tissue paper is just as good and that's your basic sort of what you've got to think about first of all is there anything else you'd like to add um, only that if you can check your rescues for a hamster don't buy a hamster from a large chain pet shop source a nice good a good reputable breeder that's registered with the club or have a look in your local rescue because there are so many hamsters that come in to rescue and people think that they're all nippy or they've all got problems they don't we have friendly hamsters that just sit and sit in rescues around the country and can't find a home and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them so do think whether you actually want a baby or one that's a bit older come to a show have a look at all the different colors you can have speak to breeders get to know people um, enter in your, your new hamster into pet class you know there's there's uh, there's so many other places you can get hamsters from um, and put a lot of thought into it first of all and it will pay off in the long run and you'll end up with a really loving pet Red side.